Hey, it's Junkman in from VintageRock.com, and we're here uh, backstage at the uh, on the Grand Plaza stage for the Legends concert here at NAM 2016, and I'm with a legend himself, uh, a legend to Hello. me, a legend, Hello. <laughs> a legend to me, and many others in the drum world and uh, music world. This is Floyd Sneed. Hi, everybody. Floyd, who uh, a lot of us remember as uh, the drummer, longtime drummer for uh, Three Dog Night, um, all through that time and all those hits yeah, i was there for the first 15 years and first 14 albums yeah exactly and you know hitting the road with with the with the road band and they just you know what they were they were the band for me oh, for a, a number of years well, and for a lot of you guys too so thank you very much wow it's great and you're actually going to be performing with uh with uh former uh three dog night singer chuck negron that's today. right yes yeah, so we've been working together for quite a while now i mean obviously but uh yes chuck and i are doing three songs tonight and uh, having a wonderful time. That's great. Yeah. Now you mentioned that you got a, you got a book coming out. Chuck had a pretty notorious book out a few right. years ago about his three days. Dog nightmare. Yeah, exactly. Mine's the totally opposite. Uh huh. Mine's the three dog night happy dip, happy mare. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, I got a book coming out in about a year now, and uh, it's terrific. It's starting. It's going very well right now. Thank you. Yes. Now we talked about earlier when you were the first guy that I knew that had the clear drums. We talked you know, specifically he had uh, Zico's drums. Zico's, yes. I thought I thought it was Fives. No, there were Zico's. They were the first plexiglass drums in the United States. Right. The who had the first ones in the, in Europe. Right. But I had the first ones in the United States. And you were the first guy that I ever saw with those things. And I said I gotta have some of those. And I ended up getting some I when I was about twelve. I put 500 rhinestones on them. Wow. And when the lights hit them. You blinged them. <laughs> you blinged them up. Blinged them up. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Yeah. Big so. time. Now, do those things still exist? Are they no, still in they, your possession? No, they've been broken and wore out for years. Yeah? Yeah. And what kind of a kit are you normally playing these days? I have uh, Remos right now. Remos? I've had about 20 years now. I've uh -huh. had this. They're basically set at home. That's why I don't use my drums for the road anymore. So uh -huh. everything's provided. So my drums are at home in the living room waiting for me to uh -huh. practice. Man, you guys just slayed him for so many years, so many hits and so many things. Now, was that a big collective? I know they did a lot of uh, they did a lot of covers, you know, from other writers. But like, you know, when you guys were playing songs like that and arranging and deciding to do things like, you know, like, uh, you know, the old uh, um, any of the old songs like that. Now, that was a group collective on deciding how to do it. Totally. Yeah. Totally. The band. And you had seven guys together. in the band, so yeah. that's that's. So that's lot, pretty de democratic. A lot of rehearsing, a lot of listening, a lot of getting it together. Uh -huh. To have 22 top 40 hits in a row. Uh -huh. With yeah. four number one hit singles. I know. Yes. Did you have a favorite? Uh, no. My yeah. God, they're, they're all my favorites, basically, because they're all our, our stuff. The we ones that gave time. you the check, basically, are no favorite, right? They all got a little couple of cents in every little <laughs> check that comes in. Yes. Um, now, touring not is changed quite a bit obviously you're not touring as much as you did how many days a week like during the peak how many days how many nights a week were you guys actually playing we worked more than anybody in the world we were on the road like 230 days a year uh -huh. and then two albums in between that uh -huh. for seven years in a row wow. we were you know had a, um, a hit on the charts every six months for seven hey, years hey. Wow. yeah unbelievable man <laughs> a lot of work now with that in mind, I mean, you know, obviously you had fans all over the world, people, things like that. I mean, did you ever just realize at one time that it might have gotten too big, or did you just not get enough of it? I've never, uh, I've never had enough of it. No, basically, tell you the truth, yeah. you know, I've been out of the band now 24 years. Yep. Lost, uh, we lost Corey Wells yeah. is here. Jimmy Greenspoon, Corey yep. Wells, and Jimmy Greenspoon. Yep. God rest their souls. Yep. Yeah. Tell me a favorite story about Corey. Oh, I can't. It's too. Uh, it's for my book. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I would imagine all the all the stories Something are in that. Janice Joplin and Corey Wells. Ah. Well, it keeps the, it keeps the mind. Uh, she cold working cocked him. That. Let me put it that way. She, she. I heard she had quite a quite a swing. She cold cocked him and almost knocked him out. <laughs> I'll tell you the later in my book. <laughs> now about you. What's what's going to be your uh, your plan for 2016? Uh, just continue what we're doing. Finish my book and my artwork. I'm uh, doing a lot of quite a bit of artwork and working now and then and playing in church every Sunday. You know so. Yeah. Where can people look at your artwork? You have a website? Yeah, go to floydsneed.com. That's S N E E D. Very good, thank you. Floydsneed.com, floydsneeddrums.net. Who are you excited about seeing here today? Oh, some old friends, everybody, actually, you know. I really don't know who all is going to be here. Bobby Kimball and uh, some other guys, Spencer Davis. And, uh, Spencer. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and on great. and on and on, yes. And of course, Chuck Negron. Chuck Negron, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you know, it's just I'm uh, really excited about uh, the fact that you guys are actually still hanging out together and being able to sing together oh, and things yeah, like that. Yes, yes. You know. We've been working to together quite a bit the last few years, Chuck and I. You know, so such a pleasure to see you. Oh, you too. Glad to. Can't wait to watch you watch you hitting the drums again, man. It's been a long time. Right now, and check this guy out. All right, again, this is Floyd Sneed, Thank and I'm Junkman, VintageRock.com, and uh, enjoy. Have a great time up Hi, there. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Behind the camera. I got to go over here, folks. All right, he's got to go up on stage Thank at you. this moment. So, again, JunkmanVintageRock.com at uh, NAM 2016 with uh, with Floyd Sneed.